This presentation highlights the basics of the domain name system, or DNS. After the introduction, we will cover the key components of the domain name system and how the name resolution process works. The domain name system is a distributed database system that can serve as the foundation for name resolution in a TCP IP network. DNS is used by most internet working software, such as web browsers and electronic mail programs, to locate servers and to resolve or map a user-friendly name of a computer to its IP address. Although DNS is most commonly associated with the Internet, private networks also use DNS because of the following benefits. Convenience. User-friendly names are easier for people to remember than numerical IP addresses. Consistency. IP addresses may change, but the server names can remain constant. Simplicity. Users need to learn only one naming convention to find resources on either the Internet or on an intranet. Now, let's look at key components of the domain name system. To understand how DNS maps names to IP addresses, you will need to understand the following three components. Domain namespace, zones, and name servers. The domain namespace provides the structure of a DNS distributed database. Each domain has a unique name. The domain namespace has a hierarchical structure. The root domain is at the top and it is represented by a period. Below the root domain, the top level or first level domains can be an organizational type such as COM or EDU or a geographic location, such as AU for Australia. Second-level domains are registered to individuals or organizations, such as Microsoft.com, the Microsoft Corporation domain, or Stanford.edu, the Stanford University domain, or Gov.au, the domain for the Australian government. Second-level domains can have many subdomains and any domain can have hosts. A host is a specific computer within a domain, such as Computer1 or Web Server1 in the training subdomain of the Microsoft.com domain. A fully qualified domain name, or FQDN, describes the exact relation of a host to its domain. DNS uses the FQDN to map a host name to an IP address. For administrative purposes, domains can be organized into zones. As you can see in this example, a zone is a discrete and contiguous area of the domain namespace. One reason to divide a namespace into zones is to delegate authority for different portions of it. One very large domain could be difficult to administer. The name to IP address data for computers located in a zone is stored in a zone database file on a DNS name server. One name server holds the primary zone database file for a zone. That name server is said to have authority for making changes to the zone file. A copy of the zone file may be stored on other servers to balance network load. These copies are referred to as secondary zone database files. The secondary zone database files are updated regularly from the primary zone database file by a process called zone transfer. Therefore, either server can answer name resolution queries for that zone. The next section describes how name servers resolve or map user-friendly names to numerical IP addresses. The name resolution process involves sending a query to one or a series of name servers to locate the IP address of the requested computer. The query contains the fully qualified domain name, or FQDN, of the requested computer. The name servers use a computer's FQDN to locate its IP address. This query is called a forward lookup query. A forward lookup query is a request to map a name to an IP address. 
This example shows a forward lookup query from a client to find the IP address of Web Server 1 in the training.microsoft.com domain. The client queries its local name server for the IP address of Web Server 1.training.microsoft.com. The local name server checks its zone database file to see if it has authority for that domain. It does not have authority, but the name server does contain information that points to the root name servers. The local name server will now begin a search for the name server that has authority for the domain training.microsoft.com, starting with the root name servers. So, the local name server sends a query to a root name server. The root name server contains IP addresses of the name servers for the top-level domain, com. The root name server sends those IP addresses back to the local name server, which then queries a com name server. The com name server receives the query and responds with a referral to the Microsoft.com name servers. The local name server sends its request. The Microsoft.com name servers have the zone database files that contain the name to IP address mapping information for Web Server 1. The Microsoft.com name server passes the requested IP address to the local name server. The local name server passes the IP address for Web Server 1.training.microsoft.com to the client. Then the client establishes a TCP IP connection with Web Server 1, and data can be transmitted. As you have seen, a local name server may send out numerous queries to finally resolve a fully qualified domain name to an IP address. DNS, or the Domain Name System, is an integral part of client-server communications in TCP IP networks. The domain namespace may be divided into zones for administrative purposes. Name servers for each zone store either the primary zone database file or the secondary zone database files that contain the name to IP address data for that zone. Zone files are kept up to date by the zone transfer process. Name resolution is the process of resolving a fully qualified domain name to an IP address. DNS is a distributed database with a hierarchical structure that can serve as the foundation for name resolution in a TCP IP network.